Alright, hey, what's up guys? Coach Mack, Play Fast Football. Alright, today I'm going to do a video on uh, simple blitz families, a way you can uh, classify your blitzes and categorize your blitzes and put them into things that I think as I get older are a lot simpler for kids to understand. Check out some of our partners, Game Strat, Sideline Replay Company we use at Bishop Kenny High School. I've used in the last five or six years. If you're looking for highly reliable, highly affordable, make sure you check out Game Strat. Dome Hats, a headwear company we use uh, at Bishop Kenny High School, play fast football, completely customizable online hat builder. You design your own hat. You can make it fitted, snap back, Velcro, change the panels, colors, style of the hat, the bill on the front. Everything is customizable. Every hat has a story. Make sure you let Dome help you tell yours. Baker Sporting Goods Company, we use coaching gear, sideline gear, player spirit packs, uniforms distributed from them. Uh, big in the baseball world, also in the equipment world uh, with pro gear shoulder pads. So make sure you check out Baker Sports. Just play which is the playbook software we use. Um, we use it for our installs, we use it for meetings. I use it for my Patreon site. If I'm ever gonna speak at any clinics, uh, that is the uh, presentation mode that I use and I think their uh, play drawing tool is the best out there on the market. Difference USA, the ultimate striking machine. You get thousands of reps, you don't need a partner. You and the ultimate striking machine attaches to all your squat racks in the weight room. You can attach or build things out on the field so that you can attach them out on the field. Perfect for in season, off season. If you want to strike violently, you've got to practice striking violently. All right, a lot easier to do with Difference USA. You don't need anybody else to hold the bag. It's just player, Difference USA machine. Check them out. XO Notebook, all right, which is a company that makes customized notebooks for players that they can bring into meetings and they can take notes. It's got customized templates in there, customized note pages. It's got your logo on the front. All right, so everything they do is completely customizable. It makes it look professional. It makes it look clean. Your coaches can get game plan notes. So every week when, if they have one notebook, all the game plans can be in one notebook week by week so they can have a, uh, a year long, you know, kind of running, um, uh, it, let's say game plan uh, file or notebook or instead of coming in with yellow pads or different pieces of paper it can all be in one location with your logo on it so I think it enhances the learning experience so check out XNO notebook so um, as I get older now uh, as I have been doing this for 24 25 years I start to constantly look at ways that we can do things in, in a more simple fashion um, and ways that uh, we can get things kind of tie together and a lot of it is trial and error as you get older and you've been doing things for a while um, you know it's trial and error piecing things together what you like what you don't like but uh, one of the things that, that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get our blitzes into families where we can categorize them for the kids so that the players blitzing and the coverage behind it stays the same all right and then obviously we could tag one or two things if we wanted to use the same blitz with maybe a slightly different path or maybe a variation of coverage behind it but I'm going to take you through just uh, you know three categories of families these are all just examples you don't have to use any of them and then I'm going to show you how we would tag who's blitzing and the coverage behind it so that we can be multiple in those blitzes okay so uh, if, if right now I've got these broken into again three categories these don't have to be your categories all right these don't have to be the exact ones you use I'm just giving you examples so I've got them broken down into cars superheroes and cities right so for the cars let's say for example we have Ford Chevy Honda all right and let's say those are going to be Sam and Mike blitzes and they're going to be three under 3d right so if we were if we were in our tight front stuff okay and we wanted to use one of those families, right? So if we were playing our tight front stuff and we wanted to use something that was in the car family, what the family tells our kids is it tells our kids who the blitzers are going to be, right? So every time they hear a car, they know that we are going to blitz the Sam and the Mike, okay? So every time they hear a car, they know that it's going to be the Sam and the Mike, and they know that it's going to be three under three deep, and they know they're going to rotate to the Sam. All right, so if we wanted to use America's Blitz, which I've done videos on before, everybody knows that's one of the Blitzes we carry, right? So if we wanted to use America's Blitz and rotate the middle safety to the deep middle, all right, and I'm sorry, middle safety will go down and become the three-hole player, all right? The, we will rotate to the side of the Sam because he's blitzing, so... The left safety on the side of the Sam rotates down to be two seam. The right safety rotates to the middle. The corner is a third player. The corner is a third player. And then the will becomes the two seam player, all right, on the side away from the blitz. So when we use these blitzes, the will knows he's always going to be two seam on his side. The Sam and the Mike know that they're blitzing, 
and the car will tell them which blitz we are running or maybe we're running them out of different fronts. The middle safety knows he's going to be the three hole player and the safety to the side of the SAM because we don't, uh, we don't flip flop our high safeties, we play them as hybrids so both safeties have to know what the call is, where the SAM is, right, rip blitz, rain lightning, whatever you use and wherever the SAM is we're always going to rotate to the SAM. So when I talk to the players I tell them that cars rotate to the SAM. So all car blitzes rotate to the SAM. We just need to know where the SAM is because we don't always play with a true field side safety or a wayside safety. A lot of times we play left and right safeties, right? So if the first, if the Ford Blitz was America's Blitz from our tight front stuff, okay, and for argument's sake, it's the three under three deep version, right? Like again, I could tag these to one free if I wanted. I could tag other things, but to keep them simple, all right, and this is the way I'm trying to get things done for our kids. The, car, the, the cars will be Mike and Sam, and the cars will be three under three deep, always rotated to the Sam. So in tight front, that might be four, right? Well, one of the other things that we do is we use the Mike as our fourth down lineman in our even front stuff, okay? Because we don't have a ton of defensive linemen. I like playing with the same personnel, so we build our body types around that. So the next thing I might do is I might come back and say, all right, guys, when we get into our four down, the next pressure we're going to run, we're going to call Chevy, okay? And Chevy is a car, okay? So if we were, let's say, for argument's sake, four down, so for us, this would look like this. Mike, and nose, anchor, okay? So corner, Sam, left safety, middle safety, Will linebacker, all right, corner, right safety. So if we said we wanted to run Chevy from our four down package, as soon as they hear a car, they know it's going to be the mic and the wheel. Well, the mic is our fourth down, so he's already there, right? So let's say for argument's sake, in Chevy, we wanted to go penetrate, long stick the mic, bring the Sam, okay? As soon as they hear the car, the middle safety knows that he's down. The safety to the Sam knows that he's down. The safety away rotates to the middle. The wheel knows that he's two seam. Corners are third players, right? So as soon as we say, or, or as soon as we use... A car, or a manufacturer, okay, Ford, Chevy, Honda, whatever, as soon as we say Ford, they know it's the tight front blitz. As soon as we say Chevy, it's coming from the overfront. But they know as soon as they hear the car manufacturer, they know that it's going to be Sam and Mike involved. They know it's five-man pressure, and they know it's 303D. So just by using that simple family, we can go from tight to four down, all right, and we can keep the family of pressures. And our kids, the way we teach it, all right, and the way they kind of learn it is cars being five-man pressure, Sam and Mike, Three under three deep, rotated to the side of the Sam. Will knows he's always going to be a two seam player, right? So the next thing we might do is we might say, okay, well, superheroes for us, superheroes are going to be, all right, let's say the Mike and the Will blitzing, and we're going to play four under two deep. So as soon as we put that into a family, the kids know that every time it's a superhero call, they know that the Mike and the Will are blitzing, okay, and they know that we're going to be four under two deep. So if we started in our tight front stuff, sorry, it looked more like this to two by two. So if we started in our tight front three high stuff, right? And I said the first one was Thor. And let's just say that Thor was some type of inside cross dog where, all right, we, we part the four eyes outside, the mic goes first, the will goes second, okay? And now we're gonna play four under two deep. We're going to tell the middle safety that every superhero is going to make him, all right, a weak side two seam player, all right, opposite the Sam. The corners are going to play trap, flat. The safeties are going to play deep half, all right? So now the middle safety knows in, in his alignment, every time he gets a superhero pressure, he knows he's got to be the weak, the, the, the weak side, what we would call a, uh, you know, a two hook or a vertical two player or a... We teach them as, it's taught as a hot drop, all right, but we teach them as kind of a hot two player, okay, to where he knows it's four under three, uh, two deep, sorry. He knows that we don't have a three inside dropper. So the, my, the Sam and the middle safety know that it's two seam hot, or two hot players, hot two players. They know that they don't have a three hole player in the middle, all right. They know that it's different than three under three, so they know that they've got to challenge crossing routes and do things a little bit different than we teach, all right, our three under three deep. But everybody else, they know Mike and Will are going to be in the pressure, right, as soon as they hear a superhero. Five-man pressure, Mike and Will, and they know that we're going to be playing our four under two deep. Okay? You could, if you wanted to, you could change the rotation. So maybe you teach the rotation as 
safety down and middle safety off the half, depending on what looks you're trying to get. Whatever you teach, all right, if this was the standard way I taught it, then my kids would know that every superhero is a Mike and a Will Blitz with that rotation. So they know it's four under two deep. Superheroes are five man pressures, Mike and Will, four under two deep. Right? So if that was the way we taught it, they know every time we hear a superhero, it's that way. Normally for us, we teach it with the safeties as the half players, and the middle safety replaces blitzers. Okay, that's the way we do it. So a superhero would be Mike and Will, four under two deep. Right? So again, if we went to our four down using the mic, right? so if we went to our four down using the mic now, just the way we do it. Again, remember, these are, the, these are things that we do and the way that I do things. It's not the way you have to do. I'm just giving you examples of how we build it in. So if we went to four down, and now that's the mic there, and that's the end, and the nose is there, the anchor's there. All right, corner, Sam, left safety, middle safety, right safety, corner, will linebacker. So let's say we go to four down, and now the mic's already there, so we leave them. The three technique, we leave them. Spike the nose, bring the wheel in the front side A-gap. Okay, rotate the middle safety down to the hot two weak, trap the corner, trap the corner, play the half, play the half, all right, hot two, hot two weak. So again, how did we build it? Superheroes, superheroes meant Mike and Will, superheroes meant five man pressure, superheroes meant four under two. So now when we are using these blitzes from different fronts or trying to get to them, <coughs> all right, in different ways, they know that if it's a superhero, it's gonna be the Mike and the Will. They know it's going to be five-man pressure, and they know it's going to be four under two deep, right? So that's another way we might do it. When we get to six bands, maybe we'll use cities, okay? And when we go to six bands, for us, it's Sam, Mike, Will. That's what we do, okay? I know that now. The, the argument that some people are going to make is they want to be more exotic in their blitzes. They want to send safeties and corners and other things, all right? And you can build that in. That's fine. For us, camp rules, standard procedure. My blitzes are going to be using guys that I like blitzing, and I'm going to cover with guys that I like covering. All right? Do we throw a corner blitz from the boundary every once in a while as a changeup? Yes, we can do that. Okay? Do we do it standard camp rules? No, we don't. All right? So, again, if I went to cities now from our tight front stuff, all right? So, if I said cities, it's Sam Mike Will, it's six man, and it's going to be our vision and break hot coverage, right? So, if we were using cities and we were in our tight front, All right, so if I said that we wanted to run our six-man pressure cities, right? So if the first one is Orlando, all right, for argument's sake, let's just say the nose is one side, the mic is in an A-gap, all right, maybe on this side we work the end out, the Sam under, but on this side we leave the four eye and we bring the wheel off the edge. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to play our three, all right, our two under three vision and break hot coverage. So corners on a third, corners on a third. I'm going to bring both safeties down to be the vision and break players, and now I'm going to use the middle safety in the middle hole. Different rotation. Middle safety's in the middle. Now it looks like the middle safety is a true, all right, post, post player. All right, he's a true one high player, okay? So now we've got six-man pressure, outside safeties down, middle safety deep, and we're playing our vision and break hot stuff. All right, so that might be, all right, or maybe if you want to get really exotic with it or, or sorry, oversimplified, maybe from tight front, Tampa is that blitz, right? You can even do that if you wanted to. Now, when we go to four down, we're going to stay in the city's world, all right? Let's say maybe we go four down and we call Miami. So the kids know as soon as they hear a city, they know that it's Sam Mike Will. They know that it's vision and break hot coverage behind it. The safeties know that they're the hot players. The middle safety knows that he's the, the, middle, the middle third player, and the corners know that it's thirds. So if it was Mike and nose anchor, Sam, Will, all right, corner, left safety, middle safety, right safety, corner. So let's now say that when we go into our four down, we want to make it a double edge stunt, so we're going to bring everybody under a gap, Will off the edge, Sam off the edge, safety down, vision and break, safety down, vision and break, middle third, deep third, deep third, okay? So what we've done is now we've built in cities, our six-man pressures, Cities or Sam, Mike, Will, doesn't matter what front we're in, it's going to be the Sam, Mike, and Will coming. All right, it's going to be vision and break, hot coverage behind it. Outside safeties are going to be the vision and break guys. Middle safety is going to be the post player. Corners are going to play the third. All right, so trying to categorize all of our blitzes to where we can oversimplify it to where the call lets the players know who the blitzers are, lets them know what the path is, and it lets them know the rotation of coverage or how we're covering it behind it. So 
Every car is Sam and Mike, three under three deep. Every superhero, Mike and Will, four under two deep. Every city, Sam, Mike, Will, all right, vision and break, two under three, hot coverage, however you want to call it. All right, so hopefully this helps you guys with your terminology. Hopefully it gives you a little bit different idea of how you can put your blitzes into families and do different things that way. I think it makes it really simple. You know, I, I, again, I think the argument's going to be guys that want to be more exotic with different pressures and they want the Sam and the Will to go and they want to do other things. You can build that in however you want to, but if you could find families for when you want the Sam and the Will to go and keep those things in families, or if you can tie the blitzes into all your fronts that way, I think now you're giving the kids something a lot easier to learn all right, so that when we go and I say, you know, try not to use the word never always, but when I come in and I say, look, cars are Sam and Mike 3 under 3D. That's it. Superheroes are Mike and Will 4 under 2D. Cities are Sam, Mike, Will, and they're hot pressure, vision and break, however you want to call it. If you keep it that way, now your kids, you can build retention and learning in there. You can throw any word and any stunt you want up there and say, all right, guys, if this was Jacksonville, the kids should be able to say, coach, that's six-man pressure, Sam, Mike, Will, we're going to play vision and break. They may not know the path, they may not know how you draw it up, but they know right away you're going to say that. If I came out and said, all right, guys, you know, we want to run Buick this week, all right, or, you know, we want to run Toyota this week. Well, Coach, Sam and Mike, five-man pressure, three under three D. Right? So now you've built a system, you've built a family where your kids can tie that all together. All right, make sure uh, if you are not a subscriber, click the subscribe button. All right, turn your notifications on, ring that bell. You know every time we do a video, we do YouTube Live. Thumbs up, thumbs down if you like or don't like the comment. Leave a message. Every message I see, I try to respond to. If you leave a request, I try to do a video just at a video, uh, viewer request on Tuesday. Remember, tonight we've got Coach McIntyre from Creekside High School uh, doing an 8 o'clock Zoom clinic on um, making drills game specific, 8 o'clock. It will be recorded. If you register, you can email me, sting8740 at gmail.com. The, reg uh, the registration's all through either PayPal, Cash App, Venmo. $10 for individual clinics, $65 for a season pass. We've got eight more speakers after this. In April, we've got uh, NFL quarterback John Walford on April 13th. And then on April 27th, we've got Scott Lawyer, uh, who is uh, one of the uh, Atavis tackling um, representatives that, that, you know, he works obviously with Atavis. He works with schools that work with Atavis. And he's going to do a deal on tackling. So uh, Sean, Sean McIntyre, head coach at Creekside tonight. Email sting8740 at gmail.com if you want to be part of that. Everyone is videotaped, and if you register, even if you're not there live, I will give you the link, and you can have it afterwards. If you do attend live, you still get the link. $10 for the individual one, $65 for the season. Month of April will be NFL quarterback John Wolford on April 13th and Scott Lawyer from uh, Atavis Tackling on April 27th. So thank you for, uh, for being a fan of the channel. Thank you for being a subscriber if you're a subscriber. Thank you. For everything you do for Play Fast, remember, you won't play well until you play fast, and I will catch you guys next time.